Hey girl. Hello Geminis, how are you guys doing? If you are not familiar with me, name, my name is Simply Velka. And in this video, I'm just going to be doing a generalized tarot message for the coming week for Geminis. So keep that in mind. Not all the cards may resonate with you. Take what does and leave what doesn't. I won't be offended, right? And so yeah, let's just jump into this reading, right? I'm gonna pull three different rows for us for this coming week and see what this way we can see what messages spirit has for us so right off the bat we have the death card for you guys not a bad thing right just a lot of intense energy for you guys right death card the strength card and the chariot y'all are definitely going a lot is heavy stuff is happening right now for you guys that's what i'm feeling with this spread already yeah with the hanged man oh my goodness nine of swords and the ten of cups i almost feel like this is inverted wow you guys gemini you guys are dealing with a lot right now i feel and i almost <laughs> i'm not trying to be the bearer of bad news and i don't even think it's bad news i guess it's like your perception of it right but i almost want to say that okay yeah it's not bad necessarily you guys are just going through a lot you guys are going through some shadow work right now that's what I'm getting, right? So for our first row, right, we have the Death card, we have the Strength card, we have the Chariot card, a bunch of heavy cards. So this is telling me a story in that there's just some big impactful stuff happening to you right now or in this week that's going to, it's like build up is happening that's what i feel like if your guys aren't dealing with something happening right now it's kind of like the eye of the storm you're waiting for the ball to drop almost with that death card you're waiting this de the death card signifies to me that something is going to be happening and it's this is pretty much if really this is like a tower spread <laughs> if this card would be to the summary of anything it would be the tower um, but yeah, I wonder what's been going on with you, Geminis, right? We have the Ten of Swords, right? And I always associate the Ten of, anything with the Ten is like the completion of a cycle. So maybe you guys recently, Gemini, you guys have like come, had some closure recently with a job, perhaps, or with somebody that you know, with a relationship, because that's easily what this could be, right? Something that's triggering a lot out of you. There's some type of situation that you're dealing with in the nows, uh, Gemini, that's bothering you, right? It's bothering you and it's kind of haunting you. you. It's kind of entrapping you. We have the Eight of Swords here and it's huge on imagery here where it's like all these things are happening to you right now seemingly and it's overwhelming. You're just looking at the spread. It's overwhelming, this energy. It can seem overwhelming, but you. the thing is, though, you don't want this to consume you, right? The Necronomicon and what that's what this is is really big on like calling you out when it's necessary and so when i pulled the, this clarifier for you the eight of swords it's almost as if like this heavy stuff yeah you have you're dealing with some heavy stuff right now but that doesn't mean that's the end of the world for you right and i'm not trying to downplay what it is that you're going through right now gemini but it's almost as if like you have to come at peace with something or this is very much so like big big forgiveness energy you're just coming to terms with the situation because you have the ten of swords and it's like a coming to terms with something that may be kind of tough to swallow and it but it's like tough to swallow where it's just like okay maybe like this person isn't going to change maybe this job isn't just going nowhere so you have this death moment where you just like you have this closure and it triggers a lot out of you right the strength card is like the embodiment of shadow work right and so that like triggers a lot out of you it takes a lot out like it takes a lot for you to go inside to get the strength to do this to commit to this and then we have the chariot card to like fully go forward with this decision with confidence so yeah it's a uh, don't get out of your head right now gemini that's what i'm feeling for you get out of your head right now it can seem overwhelming right now your life and your situation is overwhelming that is for sure but it's almost like i keep hearing from someone's spirit guide it's not as bad as you think it is and this is not them trying to downplay it necessarily but it's more so spirit trying to say that there's good to come right and this is go what goes into our second spread here which actually before i go into the second row here let me pull actually let me pull a moon card for you guys and see what moon insight we have 
surrender to the divine full moon yeah so this is kind of like this is what this is what this is telling me spirits this is this card is like confirmation to me where it's like spirits telling you that it's like your situation is not as bad as is not as bad as it seems because they know what's to come for you they know your story gets better that's what the emphasis is, right? We have the Six of Cups here as well that I forgot to even mention. And the Six of Cups is like a celebration. Like, you, it's intertwined with someone. I almost feel like this is like a card dynamic with you and Spirit, where it's like you are the little girl and Spirit, your Spirit Guide is the one giving you the, this blessing almost. So it's like you're being tested. I don't know if I want to, I don't even want to say you're being tested right now. Maybe right now we don't even need to make sense of the stress and the pain and the anxiety that you're going through, right? We don't need everything doesn't need to be a test per se. But what Spirit is trying to say is that look forward to the future. Look forward to the future right now. We have the hanged man and it requires you to commit to it, right? The hanged man after all this. So it's like once you commit to this decision, you realize that some people are not going to change the environment's not going to change i pulled out the lover's card i mean hello y'all i can't make this up that's when like your person comes in so maybe you guys are going through a breakup right now i'm getting a lot of heavy breakup energy that's really what the embodiment of this is right it's breakup energy this could be the breakup of a career this could be a breakup of a friendship this could be a breakup of a romantic relationship but whatever it is once you commit to like um cutting ties with things and just coming to terms with how people are and how situations are that is when you're going to go back on the right track you make that decision right to focus on yourself i feel like with the nine of swords you're focusing on yourself you you the, it's almost as if, if this is talking about a relationship as if you guys are parting ways because you guys kind of realize you guys are no longer for each other right now for right now right that's what popped in my head right this right now so maybe this is just a temporary thing it's similar in that uh the aquarius energy in that this is just like a temporary thing it doesn't you can like go of it right now and it'll come back to you like this is just right now you need to focus on this and did i say aquarius it was very much similar to the libra energy where focus on the proper things right now when take this as a sign the universe is setting up like if people are showing you how they are or if your work environment or if things are if you're noticing a lot of bump, bumps on the road right now pay attention and see if it's trying to show you something or teach you something or redirect you that's what i'm getting let's see if we can get any more clarification we also have the ten of cups as well and this was um i originally felt like this was inverted but now that we have the lover's card here it's almost making sense to me as to why i was initially upright right because i almost i changed it originally but it's like the ten of cups is like a love card and and like it's so perfect so when you have the love like ten of cups where it's just like the best kind of card that you could get other than like the lover's card or three of cups where it's a promising relationship it's a promising thing whatever it is it doesn't have to be a relationship right Gemini, it could be a promising new business endeavor, promising new friendship, promising whatever it could be. This card came flying out. Uh, we're trying to fly out. Three of Pentacles. So yeah, signing contracts with somebody. Everyone's happy in the situation. This is easily could be like signing a contract to a marriage, or it could be signing a contract to a new business deal, or signing a new contract to a new job or a new house. Right? It's the thing about it is you have to go through this shadow work moment you have to go through your this healing process with the death and the strength right you this is just such a you guys are going through your tower moment really if i were to just pull like i could just pull one singular card and if it would just be the tower card this would be the summary of your reading once you go through your tower moment right high priestess like this is when you start welcoming in um higher connections i feel like this is just really such an like a shift for you guys to shift your energy to start attracting what you actually want to attract rather than continually surround yourself in an environment of that's no longer conducive for you so i feel like this is just yeah this is just a time for you to take accountability for the energy that you're exuding and putting out there and that doesn't i don't mean that in an aggressive way it's just like a you're taking power taking back control of what you're exuding and you're putting out what with intent what you want to get out of the world right so let's pull an animal card while we take in this last row for us we have the ten of wands the ace of swords ace of swords has come up a lot today and the knight of discs 
So yeah, I really want to say in terms of those that this is not pertaining to relationship and this is more so like in life in terms of like signing like um, for a house or an apartment or a car, anything like that or a job. It's a good time. Ladybug. This I'm going to read it off to you then show you. This is a time of good fortune and abundance. So be willing to receive all the good things in your life. And I also feel like the ladybug shows as a sign, for, comes forward as a sign for some people. Um, as well as like a spirit animal. So yeah, as I was saying, this, inter this is just a very positive time in terms of contracts for a lot of people. I feel like that's just the energy overall because this is, this is a good time for long term. This is a good time for you to, this, yeah, I feel like this is really just time for you to start thinking long term. Let go of the things that you are not serving you and only focus on what sparks your passion, what sparks some type of attention from you with that ten of wands you're let you're moving on right you see this person in the back and keep in mind y'all the necronomicon is pretty graphic so it's not like a don't take it in the literal sense that you're having to just like knock somebody out while you're leaving right but you're moving on from some like maybe like people that were sleeping on you perhaps but we're gonna just pretend like he's sleeping right uh like he's sleeping on you they're sleeping on you or maybe they just were not appreciating you or maybe they're just not motivated motivated right maybe you're in a relationship that they didn't want anything they didn't think about the long term they didn't think about the future what they want in the long term right the judgment card yeah this is just such a time of where it's like you start asking yourself and you start asking the people in your life and what you're doing the job that you have this is the time i feel like for you guys gemini you're questioning the purpose and the value of everything and this is really just the shift time for you guys this is what you should be doing this is part of the plan is like questioning what's going on around you with all this chaos going on right now it's good to question it's kind of like setting your priorities getting your priorities straight and i feel like getting your priorities straight would be focusing on your abundance right ten of coins you're focusing on your abundance you're focusing on your foundation you're focusing just when i say abundance it doesn't have to be finances it could be back to the relationship right because we did pull that lover's card i feel like this is just really like out with the old and with the new for you guys um the new the moon card with the knight of discs as well i feel like something's going to be re like with the moon card it's like revealing something so maybe i but i don't even feel like it's in a bad way for you guys gemini I always want to say that this is like a something's revealed to you that's like, oh, I never considered this before. Let me go down this. I never considered talking to this person before. Let me talk to them. I never considered being in a relationship during this time right now. Let me consider it. This is a time for like considerations because everything's opening up to you right now, but it's only going to open up to you, Gemini, if you let go of this baggage right you need to let go of this baggage right even though this is i still feel like this is a good card of where you're walking away from people even like yeah you're walking away from this sleeping person but maybe the focus should be paying attention to what it is that you're carrying lighten your load a little bit but yeah that's the card uh let's actually get one angel card here we have the strength card, Ariel, <laughs> number 11, heavy shadow work. Yeah, you guys are just going through heavy shadow work. This is, you guys are going through this heaviness right now because it's like, you need to ask yourself, what 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 do you need to lighten in your load, right? You're building up all this strength, but your strength's starting to come in question. If you're feeling like your strength is faltering, look at what you're carrying and see where you can lighten your load. That's what I'm getting for you guys. But I hope this reading was helpful to you guys. Let me know in the comments below uh, which card resonated with you, the, with you the most. If this reading did resonate with you, I would love to hear about it. And if it did, please give me a like and subscribe because it does help me out so much. But until next time, Geminis, bye.